guys just finished unboxing everything I need for my CD009 swap. So looks to be quite a bit of stuff. So over here, got the flywheel. Actually comes with some flywheel bolts. So that's good. I thought I was gonna have to order some ARPs. I guess I don't have to. And then my clutch line. I have the uh, T56 master or slave cylinder. All the supporting hardware. Ended up with two um, clutch alignment tools. That's kind of weird, but hey, whatever. Uh, right here, this is the short shifter. Up here, the transmission mount. Here's the adapter for the drive shaft. Over here, we have the adapter plate that'll turn your bell housing from your um, A, what is it, 340 transmission into, uh, it'll adapt it to the CD009. And then here is the, the little bearing that goes inside, the alignment bearing that goes inside of the, the, uh, uh, the crank. Over here is your clutch. I thought there was gonna be a full face clutch. I didn't know it was gonna be a six puck clutch. So this is a kind of a pleasant surprise that I ended up getting this. So um, say it's rated for about 500 foot pounds of torque. So I'm pretty excited about that. And this is the other stuff I need that didn't come with the kit that I ended up getting from, uh, I ended up getting it from Drift Motion. So we have our brake and our clutch pedal because you have to turn your brake pedal into a smaller one. And then in here is your, uh, Master cylinder with all the hardware. It comes with a nice little letter with everything that you need, as well as your two pads for your, uh, your two pads for your different pedals. So here's everything I got, everything I need. I got the CD009 in the garage. So hopefully over the next few few weeks, I'll be able to get all this uh, put onto the car, get the trans drop back in. I ended up pulling the motor uh, to do this whole swap because I had a leak I wasn't able to get to. So I'm gonna correct that as well as clean up some wiring and uh, do a couple other things. I think I might go with a, uh, a coil on plug set up, uh, individual coils per plug, kind of simplify the wiring. So yeah, pretty excited. When I almost forgot back here, this is my all aluminum drive shaft. I'm not gonna open this guy up yet um, until I'm getting close to installing it. But yeah, I decided to go all aluminum just because I wanted to make sure that when I road race, I can, uh, it'll, you know, have less rotational mass, a little bit less weight and make the car run a little bit better. So I didn't want to have to pull the motor out, but I had to for the CD009 swap because there's just a whole bunch of other stuff I wanted to get to, oil leak, different things I wanted to take care of, as well as make sure I got everything really buttoned up, do a coil on plug set up, all these different things. So uh, yeah, it was a little bit of work, but I'm glad I did it. All right, so middle in the CD009 swap, ended up uh, getting a couple other things while I was in there. First is, I ended up going to a straight coil on plug. These are 1NZ coils. So they're those semi-smart coils that uh, should be able to wire into the ECU and be able to uh, um, get, a, get a better spark ignition and not have to have all that breakup I'm having. And then down here, what I ended up doing, ended up putting the uh, um, oil filter neck back on, doing a thermostatic um, sandwich plate adapter, to my oil cooler lines, and then also did an oil filter relocation. Uh, so it'll make it easier for me to get to the oil filter because it's just a pain in the butt getting to it. So just really trying to clean a lot of things up here. Over here, got the CD09 with the Collins adapter. The J1 belt housing. Got the uh, uh, adapter right there. The short shifter that comes with the kit. And then in here, the T56 slave. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this, bolt it all together, and get ready to throw it back in the car. So one piece drive shaft, all aluminum, less rotating mass. It's got the adapter right down there. So it adapts to the uh, new diff I've got. Up here is the old diff. It's like a 4.27 ratio. Went down to a 3.26. That should uh, make my first and second gear a lot more usable. But this is definitely gonna get the rotating mass down so that the engine actually uh, uh, comes alive and uh, um, I can actually accelerate faster, maintain speed. It's gonna be awesome. So CD09 is in. I had to put some spacers for my exhaust hanger right here, just use some washers. Reason why is this rear mount, uh, this rear motor mount sits a little bit higher. It's a lot thinner of a piece. It's a lot thinner than the stock piece. The stock piece is sitting right here and you can see how much thicker it is. So it wasn't giving enough clearance for the uh, the exhaust to hang. So that's why I had to put those, uh, to get this to focus. That's why I had to put those washers in there. Up here, jumpered my neutral safety switch. Come on, focus. Jumpered my neutral safety switch so that I can uh, uh, start the car and not have to worry about it looking for a, uh, a, a transmission or a uh, um, um, looking for an automatic transmission. Got my oil filter relocation back here. This will make it easier for me to get to the oil filter. Two lines coming off here. I'm getting them made right now. They'll run right up to where the, the normal, uh, the normal uh, uh, spot is. So all around, it's fitting pretty well. Aluminum drive shafts in the car. It's one piece. Got that adapter all the way down here. Got the exhaust back on. Now the difference with this drive shaft is with the stock drive shaft, there's a, um, it's a two piece, which has these pieces that mount right here where it splits. And also too, another big key is that these little tabs right here were a heat shield that go over top that protect the drive shaft from the, uh, the exhaust. Well, this exhaust hangs lower with the CD09 and so you can't put that heat shield on. So you have to go without the heat shield. But everything fits in there really good. I threw some blue Loctite on those bolts down there. The four bolts on the drive shaft as well as the three bolts that bolt it to the differential. Uh, Cause you don't want those backing out with, these ro with this rotating so fast. So yeah, that should keep it in place. <laughs> 